Hey everybody, how's it going? We're here with the Timeless Reading, welcome. The first card that we have out is Four of Cups. I'm seeing the Empress on the bottom of the deck. When we have Four of Cups, especially with the context of the Empress being on the bottom of the deck, the Empress is about enjoying things and having a good time and feeling like you have the energy there to give and to experience and that you can be present. When we have the Four of Cups, you can feel like you're not in that space. It can feel kind of like the opposite of being in that space. You can feel like I actually need to recover or restore my energy rather than expend it. Like I don't feel very creative right now or I'm not feeling a lot of joy or I don't really want to connect at this point in time. You can feel more so like you just need a little bit of a recovery period. This can also mean too that if you, if you identify with doing creative activities like writing or drawing or making music or whatever it is that you do every act is a creative act you can feel like you just don't have it in you right now that this is more of a time of stillness and recovery rather than expending your energy now i'm seeing king of pentacles come out and what this can mean is that you can be feeling a little bit burnout when it comes to king of pentacles is like your obligations the stuff that you're in charge of like all of the jobs that you have within your life all of the stuff that you're in charge of the things that rest on you having four of cups before that you can feel like i don't want to get up today i don't want to have to do that or like everything just feels like more obligatory than anything you can feel like you don't really have your sparkle right now like you almost want to assign those roles to somebody else currently that's not to say that on a regular day you wouldn't want to do this stuff it just feels like right now you can sort of want to be left alone a little bit more on this four of cups you see how this person is sort of hiding away like something coming through and this person being like oh just not right now please There's an attempt for you to be like overproductive or for you to not listen to this part of yourself because this is feeling like coming through really strongly as like a feeling of burnout when it comes to the stuff that you're doing within the 3d we have four of cups we have king of pentacles and then we also have the devil there and the devil when it's connected with king of pentacles can be i need to be overproductive right now i need to be making sure that i'm useful like i need to it's like all of this stuff when you don't have the energy to be doing it but doing it from a place of feeling like you can't just sit still and be like you have to be doing something and then it coming from that place of desperation this can be um feeling like you need to be, it's, it's a lot that's tied to productivity, but to the point where it can feel like you lose your reason and purpose behind what you're doing and you're attached more so to, I feel good when I feel like I'm being productive, even when I'm burnt out and then not listening to the signs and then just gonna push through it anyway. And then I'll put this on my plate and then I'll put that on my plate and then I'll put this on my plate the whole time, not listening to you feeling four of cups, which is that cue, hey, I need to turn off right now or hey, I need a break right now or hey, I need to rest right now so that I can come back and be a wonderful king of pentacles. But when we have the devil, it's like that stuff that chains us, that stuff that makes us feel like I don't get a choice. I don't get to feel how I feel. I just have to push through. I have to work through. And I mean, having Capricorn be the only energy that's here. Capricorn is such a wonderful energy because no matter what, it will get the job done. Simultaneously, the shadow of Capricorn can be, I'm not respecting, I'm not witnessing, I'm not listening to my own feelings and the cues, and I'm just pushing through anyway, even though I'm getting signs that I need a break right now. 
or that I need to pause or that I need to recharge. I'm just gonna ignore that and do this stuff anyway. So there's really this like disconnect that ends up happening between ourselves, like what's going on internally versus what you're doing externally and those things not being in alignment. And then the feelings that we get because of that, then the things that we're participating in that we feel like comes from a place that is not inspired by the soul and the fire within us, but more so from a place of fear or from a place of inadequacy or from a place of not being enough. Shadow connected with poverty mindset. What this can mean too is that this can come from a place of feeling like, um, so the energy of Capricorn, it's that cardinal energy and it's also associated with being able to independently work. Being able to get the job done, you don't need to rely on another person, you'll do it yourself. And so like you are the support, you are the rock, like nothing else is that for you. And there can be such an over fixation on the material, on the material that it becomes obsessive to the point of right now I'm getting signals that I need a break, but I'm not listening to that because what if this happens or what if that happens and then I'm not there doing that and then I don't get what I need from it. It can be all the stuff that's connected with the 3D, with the material realm. Even as simple as like needing a day off or needing some type of break, not listening to that part of yourself and pushing through. And sometimes pushing through can be appropriate. When it's motivated by something like this, this is a fear motivation. So this comes through from a place of, I'm getting a signal right now from my soul saying, hey, we need to put the brakes on right here. Like I need the rest of the night off or whatever it is for you. Or like tomorrow I need a day of rest. And then ignoring that because the shadow is coming through and saying, you can't afford to take a day off. When you know intuitively you need that day off, but that fear of stuff going on within the 3D is that universe isn't gonna have my back, things aren't gonna happen, like I have to only depend on myself, I don't trust the cosmic like unfolding of things that I can actually trust this feeling that I'm having right now. So it's a mistrust in the internal feeling and then overcompensating externally. Again, from a place of fear, from a place of not trusting, from a place even of ignorance, you can say. And this is connected with our earth energy, which has us feeling like we need to be showing up and doing the thing regardless of how we're feeling, even when what we're feeling is telling us the opposite of that, from a place of fear. It can also be feeling like we have a lack of support as well, not because we have a lack of support, but because we are playing a game where we're disconnected with it in this moment. Not that we actually are, but that that's sort of the cycle that we're playing out. So the shadow is coming through and saying, oh, you should worry about that. This is why you have to show up anyway, even though you're feeling like you're getting signals not to right now. It's like all of the stuff that's gonna tell you the opposite of what you're feeling, but from a place of fear. That's definitely the forte of the shadow is going to bring up all the stuff that you're worried about to convince you that you have to do something that you're getting a feeling. I need to pause right now. And all of it coming from a scarcity mindset when we have seven of pentacles or seven of swords, five of pentacles connected with the king of pentacles and having the devil there. It's like the stuff that the fears that trap you and have you feeling like this is the small hell that you can't get out of and you're just stuck within that and you don't have any other options, even though you're getting this signal saying, hey, pay attention to me. 
hey, you have needs that are not only external, but you have stuff going on on the inside, and I'm waiting for you to pick up the other end of the phone, and your shadow being like, don't pick it up for that part of yourself. Like, work, 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 work. And in whatever area of your life this is with the King of Pentacles and Five of Pentacles, like, whatever it is, it's never enough, and you never get a break from it. It's, like, very much a a workhorse vibe but from a point of like you don't get any sort of break and it doesn't matter how you feel and these are all the reasons why you shouldn't listen to that part of yourself that's speaking up now because what's going to happen in the future I'm actually th seeing that things are going to be fine. Surprise, surprise. I'm seeing that things are going to work out. I'm not seeing things be an issue. We're ending with the chariot here. Ultimately, I see f four of cups and seven of swords as like you not taking you not taking advice from your shadow here with whatever it is that's telling you, which is really the thing that's going to crush your spirit. Really the thing that's going to take away your motivation, take away your fire because you're using your energy inappropriately because it's motivated by fear. It's not like you're doing this on purpose. It comes from a place of you being persuaded by your shadow, which can take time to even realize that that's what it is that's speaking to you. That's where it's coming from. And then ends up, if you exhaust yourself to the point where then you don't have any energy left, then you have stuff come in that you're meant to be connecting with that you should have been, your energy should have been restored enough to be ready to take these things on. But then you're at that point where you hit exhaustion, like you can't get out of bed or whatever it is for you. And then that opportunity, like you're not ready for it. So this is about, there's a preparation here that's happening where you may have to pull back on something right now not for no reason and you're getting signals to do this so you're meant to listen to it your shadow is like oh don't listen to that like what about how how are things going to happen how is stuff going to fall into place how is that going to work or like how are you going to pay for that or how is this going to happen even though you're having this feeling money doesn't have to be the only thing it can be lots of stuff it can be like about time it can be the management of activities that you have it can have to do about um like obligations and things that you need to show up for. But basically this four of cups, it's giving you a message, it's giving you a signal that like you need some type of break. Cause King of Pentacles is the part of you that wants to show up and do some type of job that you've signed on for. And having this seven of swords here, it's like the, the shadow whispering to you, you having the option that you don't need to listen to this, the shadow can also be telling you things that are just trying to motivate you through fear, but that doesn't have to be the way that's motivating you because it feels like it's coming from a place of this is probably not going to work out or like how is this going to happen? It's like this thing that brings about anxiety for you when you're showing up and you're doing the best that you can. With this King of Pentacles, when you're showing up and you're showing up with integrity, it will always be enough. Always. It's never not going to work out for you when you're showing up in this way. And that means too that when you need the opportunities, they will be there. Because I'm seeing stuff like all of this stuff sort of around the perimeter of your energy and stuff isn't going to be there when you feel like you need it when you're ignoring the signals. So it feels very important that when you're getting signs that you pay attention to them, 
Because if you're like out of flux with the rhythm that you're feeling within, it means that there's gonna be this, you're gonna feel like stuff comes in at the wrong time. But when you're listening to this part of you that's saying like, no, not right now, or you need a break right now, or this is necessary for you right now, regardless of what the narrative of your shadow is, and the stuff that it's trying to freak you out about, like if you don't do that, you're gonna lose that position. Or if you don't do this, that's gonna happen then. It's like, it's gonna be that type of thing where it will startle you into like, this thing is gonna be taken away from you or you're not gonna have that thing or then you won't have what you need. It's like that type of thing here. And you not having to take that offer of advice from your shadow. You don't have to take the offer from the poverty mindset. Like you don't have to take the offer from the fear, the offer from the devil coming through trying to tell you things that are just going to trap you somewhere that you don't want to be. Like this is rather a way that you can learn how to maneuver through this mental space for yourself. Where your air and your earth energy is concerned and what you're gonna see is that you are not going to be without the opportunities that you need. Like all the right doors are going to open for you. You don't need to be worried about that. And you don't need to stay hyper vigilant here. Like I need to look out for the door. It's like you're not getting enough sleep energetically because you don't want to miss a door coming up and opening when if you will follow the tune and the rhythm of things, as soon as you're opening your eyes and ready, that's when the door appears. It just like happens synchronistically like that. Because this feels like coming from a place of I'm not trusting that things happen in the divine timing. And so I feel like I have to go against my feeling. I have to go against my nature and move to the tune of fear. And this is something that I can be liberated from through working through this. And that's how you're going to get where you're trying to go. But there's not a, a failing of you moving here. I'm seeing that you like you're you're moving along here. I'm seeing you be on track with things. This feels like a, a checking in and making sure that you're not discounting these feelings that you're getting through because of being motivated to be hyper vigilant. Like if you don't keep your eyes open, you're gonna miss the stuff that's there. It feels more so like if you're ignoring you're going to then fall asleep at the wrong time and then that thing that was supposed to be there you're not going to be awake when it's there and so it's necessary that when you get that feeling that you tune into it and listen and it being necessary for that reason like when the wave is there to ride on it you ride on the wave and then when the wave is not there you it's not meant to be you're not meant to be trying to recreate that you wait until the next one comes again so right now is that time of of like pulling back, of stilling, of recharging. So then you have the energy when the wave comes back again so that you can ride on it. And this is the process. Like it's not gonna be 100% all the time. This is about sort of tuning into the rhythm of things. And when you get that feeling, it's that internal call to sort of go to shore and wait until the swell comes back and then you go back in. And that be happening but I almost get it like wasting all your energy staying out there when the swell isn't gonna come for a little bit and then when it does come you're exhausted and then you're not well prepared for it and then you're gonna feel like you burn out you're gonna feel like you don't um, you don't show up and perform the best that you can because you didn't take that break you didn't take that space you didn't acknowledge when you were called to go back to shore so this feels like trusting that Trusting this instinct that's coming online and communicating with you, and it can be communicating through a feeling of burnout, through a feeling of disengagement, through a feeling of feeling disconnected from like the work that you do or the, or the jobs that you fulfill. Like everything is really gonna be just fine. Everything is gonna be all right. So this is the encouragement. Listen to yourself, the feelings that you're having. And when your shadow is coming through saying, don't go to shore, then you're going to miss the wave. Recognize that that's the shadow and that that's something that you don't. It's like not the only narrative. It's not the thing that you need to be motivated by here. 
and that if you're tuning in and going to shore when you need to, you're going to be able to see when the next swell comes in and then you'll go back out and you'll be ready for it. And that's really it here. So then you'll feel like you're in tune and in touch with the rhythm of things rather than fighting against it. Because what you'll see is that your internal rhythm will also match the opportunities around that are aligned for you. So this feels like it's also about discerning that when you are at a state when you're ready, the quality of experience that you want will also align. Rather than being wanting to take every opportunity, even the ones that like those ones aren't meant for you, but you're just refusing to go to shore and not using discernment with the way that you're expending your energy. So that's what I'm seeing the vibe be here. Know that when you need the opportunities, when you need those doors to open, they will be there. Try as best you can to tune in. Because this is like a little bit of a... When you're predominantly in an earth energy, sometimes it can be difficult to tune in because of just being used to making assessments versus um, based off of what you're seeing in front of you. And this is a needing to incorporate that feeling that you're getting within. And I do feel it being this sort of binary of I'm excited and like want to lean in versus I feel like I need to lean out right now and go to shore and that being the way that it's coming through and you trusting yourself that that is coming from a part of you that it's not a bad thing when this happens or there's not something wrong with you that it's natural that there's that ebb and flow to things and to tune into it and listen to it and honor that way that you're feeling even if it's not preferable that you're feeling that way. Because you can value being on and being ready and wanting to do the thing. And so there can be this question when you're not feeling like that. What's going on here? And it really is just that, that um, sign of needing to take that step back to catch your breath. And then you go back in. Okay? All right, my friends, we will leave the reading here. I would like to thank everyone for connecting. Thank you for tuning in. I'm sending everybody love and I hope to catch you guys next time.